Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see about sell all the cars question from April Long Challenge 2020. So, what is the question? Chef owns N cars number through one to N. It's fine. Uh, he wishes to sell all those cars. He wishes to sell all the cars over N years by selling exactly one car per year. So, for each valid I, the initial price of the car is PI, and but due to depreciation, the price decreases by one unit per year it is sold the price of the car cannot go beyond zero fine so if, if the car price reaches zero it remains zero and we need to print the maximum profit chef can have by modeling with this number 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 so what uh, the question is saying is if we have the cars at six 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 three cars we have fine and uh, each year we will sell one car so suppose we are selling this car right now the profit we gained was six fine now in the next year the depreciation because of depreciation all the values will be decreased decreased by one now we sell this car so the profit now became 11 fine and uh, due to depreciation now it will be become nothing but four and when we sell this car so total profit became 15 so 15 is the answer okay so what we need we need to find out the maximum possible profit for example if we have two three five four one so we have five cars so which car should i sell first to get the maximum profit only this much needs to be thought of and the question is very simple fine so if i sell one two three or four or five which car will give me the maximum profit so the maximum profit will be given to me by the maximum value okay the price maximum price so it will be five so if i sell this car the price will be my profit will be five okay so the next year each value will be decremented by one and now if i if i have to sell which car to get the maximum profit nothing but three so p profit becomes eight the decrease by one and only this car is remaining so p equals to nine so for this test case the answer is nine fine so uh, i cannot go beyond this because all values now became zero they cannot go beyond uh, below zero so the profit is nothing but nine so this was the logic also for this particular question whatever the array is given to us okay we need to choose the maximum element always so nothing but we need to sort our array okay once we sort our array we just select the first element that is the first profit fine for the second year we need to subtract one so it will be nothing but 5 plus 4 minus 1 for the third year we need to subtract 2 so 3 plus 3 minus 2 and this is nothing but 2 minus 3 uh, it cannot go beyond 0 so this will be 0 and 1 minus 4 this cannot go beyond 0 so this will be 0 so the profit i get is 5 plus uh, 3 plus 1 which is nothing but 9 okay so the sort there uh, in the decreasing order or if you are sorting in the increasing order then uh, start with the last element okay and have a year variable so what will be the year variable or any variable you like it will it will be zero so when the index is zero the year variable is zero when the index is one the year variable is also one fine so this will be what it will be used phi minus y so y is nothing but zero when it is the next year so y will be one so it is nothing but y plus plus it is the next year then y will be two again y plus plus here okay so year variable will be incrementing with our index so up uh, is a pretty straightforward question so what are the steps sort there fine if you are sorting in, in uh, ascending in, in ascending order so begin with i equals to n minus one go till i greater than or equal to zero have a year variable uh, which is zero it increments uh, as per the i so it is i plus plus so it is year plus plus fine so what happens in this right here if my array of i minus year is greater than zero only if it is greater than zero we are going to add it into our profit into our sum so we will add array of i minus y into our sum okay this mod with 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 fine if it is greater than zero and we will increment our year every time if it is greater than zero less than zero we do not matter we will increment it each and every time okay and the loop will continue like this so finally we will print our sum fine so we are decrementing uh, one by one because of uh, because in each year one value is decreased okay value is decreased by one so that is what we are doing after sorting fine so let's see the implementation now so let's see the implementation for this we are just taking the all the inputs necessary inputs sum equals to zero in the beginning year is zero modulus 10 to the power of 9 plus 7 
you are sorting the array then from the end from n minus 1 to greater than 0 you are decrementing one by one so if this uh, difference is greater than 0 only and only then we are going to add it into our sum with the modulus fine and year plus plus is obviously there just explain so every time year value will be incremented by one and that is subtracted here and the sum is printing at the end so this was the implementation for the sell the car problem thank you